You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out my next Dr. Dreadful set. And thank you for stopping by today. If this is your first video, realize that I have done a bunch of Dr. Dreadful sets. Now, this is set number two. I will bring in set number one briefly. It's already on video. You will find the link to this one in the description plus a bunch of other Dr. Dreadful sets. And thanks for stopping by. Hope you can make it to the end of the video. And if you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. All right, this is a Tyco set for ages six and up. It is the Blister Fixer set. Cure your monster's blisters by scraping and popping them. Hmm, they're delicious. Ooh, that sounds good. Everything you need to treat and eat your monster's blisters. Yummy. Ooh, that sounds really exciting. Let's turn this around here. All right, this includes a special Monster Doctor Diploma. Now, I showed that in the previous video, so I'll show it again today. Blisters never tasted so good right there. Set contains the Petri dish stand and all of the necessary items for me to make this kit. Let's see at the top. It says, make tasty monster treats. Cure your monster's blisters by scraping the bubbling green blobs from your hands. Use the poker to pop the specimens smes in the Petri dish. Venom, venom, eat up and enjoy the fruity flavors. Interesting wording there. Then, apostrophe, um, eat up and enjoy the fruity flavors. All right. When I come back, then I will be taking this out of the package, change my camera angle, get my little cutting tool, and I will begin the process. Okay, here we go. Let's get into this package here. Now, I will carefully cut this. I did the other one a little bit differently. I think I'm going to... Just cut around this edge on the outer part. There's two layers in here, so once I get through, I'll be able to open this up a little bit better. Those corners are always a little tougher. All right, I should be able to peel this back carefully now. Okay, there is my diploma, which I showed you in the previous video, but if you're new here, you can check it out. I like to show you all the details. Got some nice stitching and a band-aid. Dr. D's School of Monster Medicine. And then I'm always worried about the packets. Blob mix number two doesn't look too good. This one should be okay. This one should be okay. This is the wart powder. Okay, and then the instruction sheet. I'll set that right there. Here we go, the next group of items. And this is how I put items back in the package, the way I find them. I replay the video. So here we go. There's a little stand. What looks to be my looking device. Now, we have used this exact device on another set. And this here raises and lowers your magnifying glass, because that's what... Okay, get in there. That's what this is. It's a little magnifying glass. I got a nice beaker. I really like in these sets that they're colored because the clear ones tend to take on the color of what you're using. Got a nice little bottle and then a tool. Let's see. It doesn't want to come out easy. It's not releasing easy. Here we go. Last tool. It's a nice little fork like pitchfork and then a spoon all in black. So you got a nice coloring there. Let me just hold this up now so I don't have to do it later. I always like to show all of the instructions so people can read it. And they also check up to make sure that I'm doing things right. And then there's the other side listing all the parts. All right. Ooh, a little bit longer. Heartburn brew, tapeworm tonic, and bug lotion. Looks like I can make three, but I'll verify that. Okay, let me read everything. Wash what I need to wash because they always want you to wash the parts and then come back and get started. Okay, everything's been rinsed and dried. Now, I am going to make all three, so we'll take a little bit of time. Hope you can watch through the entire video. I'm gonna first make the Blobby Monster Blisters. So let me move these out of the way. I have prepped my powders. I will show you mix number two, because that's the one I'm gonna actually use first. As you can tell, it is very uh, sticky. Now I've run this through one of my blenders to kind of soften it up. It's almost like brown sugar. 
So to make Bobby Monster blisters, pour 15 milliliters of cold water. All right, 15 mil. Let's get this going here. 10, ooh, that's 20. Let me take some out. <laughs> sometimes you hit it right, sometimes you don't. Okay, there you go. And then into the small beaker, add five level shovels of blob mix number two. Okay, that's the one we're using right now. I'll just keep it here so we have it. And then mix thoroughly. All right, here we go, five level. It's gonna be hard to do because this is not powderized much. So let me do this. Let me just push one nugget in and see. Kind of that's about a level scoop. It breaks up pretty good when it hits the water, so that's a good sign. I'll do my best here to try to get this as accurate as possible, but with the powder not, you know, easily breaking apart. That's two. It does make it a little bit harder. That's three. That's four. That's five. Okay, mix thoroughly, all right. Now let's put this here with this in the back so I know what each one is. Here, I'll do it this way and then I'll line them up so we can keep track of it. Mix thoroughly. So it's kind of got like an orangish brownish look. It's on my finger there, so you can kind of get an idea what color this is. Now we've done similar experiments with these, like this on the bigger kits. This is kind of like a smaller kit that's what I'm guessing now is kind of duplicating some of the other experiments that we've already done. I'll go a little bit longer. Okay, pour this mixture into the Petri dish stand. Okay, we're going to need this, we're going to need that. I'm going to need some scissors too, which I didn't get. Then rinse out the beaker with warm water. Okay, good. So I'll rinse this out. I'll have to come back for that, but let's get this in here. Oh, look at that. Okay, I will have to rinse this in warm water, it says. There's a little bit of granule there. And then come back with some scissors and do the next step. Okay, all set for the next step. Now I'm going to show you mix number one. It's kind of funny they do mix two, then mix one, but that's just the way it is. Now this one also had problems. There was some larger dry chunks, so I ran it through my blender to kind of... You could see a few of them still in there. So hopefully that won't have an issue when I'm trying to get that through the squeeze bottle. I will need to cut this tip off, so let me just do that now and see if that works. Okay, air, yes, good. And then, all right, what does it say? It says pour 30 milliliters of cold water. Let me bring this one down to like this level so you can kind of see the level here. 30, 10, 20, and 30, all right. And then add five level scoops of blob mix number one. Now this should be easier now. That is much easier. Here, I'll do it left-handed. One. Two. I think I'm going to use this little pair of scissors I have to kind of level it out. Three. I'm doing this. Can you see better? Sometimes I can't see my viewfinder. Four. Five. Okay. Mix thoroughly. Let's get that one back there so I'm keeping track of my mixes. Pour this mixture into the squeeze bottle and twist on the cap. Snip off the tip. Cover the tip of the cap with your finger and shake the blob mix in the cap. Okay. So they want you to mix thoroughly, put it in, and then mix it again, basically. sure if I get hopefully I get it all in there it's a nice green color just a tiny bit of powder in there but that's okay and then mix kind of mix it kind of matches the green in the set huh now here's kind of where we've done this kind of candy kit before kind of kind of kind of 
where now I'm going to drop this in there and make different blobs and little shapes. And I will do my, oh, that just shot out. Get over here. Under the pressure. Now we can bring you right into that. And then make the little blob shapes. And then it says, look through the lens, then use the poker and end of the shovel and eat them. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we're getting here. They are not blobbing up. Mmm. Let's try it again. Put a few more in. It looks like we have a fail. It's been a long time since I've had a fail. A fail. So obviously the chemicals are no longer reacting to each other. All right. Looks like experiment number one did not work. So let me move on and try experiment number two. All right, I am back. I've done a few things and I'm gonna correct a few things. One, there are only two experiments in this set. For whatever reason, I was looking off to the side and I'm like, oh, three. But there are only two. These are the sets. Now, I've done the Heartburn Brew, which I showed you earlier. I haven't done these two. And then the two experiments are this one and then the one that's using the wart powder. Let me put that one out so you can see. This powder was fine. And I'll just give the bag a whiff here. It smells like lime. All right. Then what I did, I thought, well, let me add a little bit more of this and mix it up and see what happens. And let me dump a little bit more in this and see if it reacts better after it sits. So I'm gonna do that and let that sit. All right, experiment number two. This will be the last one. So bear with me and I do apologize if I've confused anybody. Pour a small, oh, let me get the water in here first. I'm gonna use this as my little water vessel. Pour a small scoop of powder onto your hand. Can you see my hand? Let me get the better shot here. Let me put this here, a small scoop onto my hand. That to me is a small scoop. Okay, then drip water onto the powder. Now I have done this experiment before, so I'm gonna show you again. That's what I'm saying. These little kits are parts of the bigger kits, I'm guessing. Here we go. Now it should foam up. Look at that. Oh, how cool is that? Mmm. Oh yeah, it's just dripping down my hand. Very tasty looking. Use the shovel to scrape the blisters. Oh, that's cool though. Look at that, that's my blister. Okay, and then eat away. Mmm, how exciting. Mmm, actually, it's a very strong lime, sweet flavor. So it's probably their chemical plus sugar plus that lime flavoring. All right, let's do this. I'm not gonna stop here. I wanna take a look at this one. Now that I've experimented with it, I guess that's the whole part of these kits is to experiment. Let's see if we got any kind of lumps. Oh yeah, look at that. Now that is definitely lumpy. It's almost like a, a loose kind of jello. Let me taste this one. So I guess it just needed to sit, but my ultimate thing is that, yeah, it's the one of the powders has gone bad and that's why it's not reacting 100%, but let's taste it anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a very sweet, almost like fruit punch or some kind of interesting combination. Not the tastiest of things that I've tried, but still fun. Maybe I will set, let me set the camera up. I'll end this video in just a second. I wanna see if I can get a nice shot through this, into this, just for everybody to check that out. Okay, really hard to show you. It's the light and how dark everything is, but you see the air bubbles there. So that is a spot where it seems to be somewhat in focus. Now you cannot really see any of the chunks. There's one tip of that little shovel type thing. Let's see if it refocuses, there it goes. So there's really no lump showing and it could just be that the way the solution is. Let me just dump a little bit more here, right under the lens, see if we can see it squirt. Oh, that looks cool. Not what I was looking for, but it still looks cool. 
little out of focus, but now you see more of the green solution in there. It's really hard. I got to get a macro or a micro lens for this to get really close up shots. All right, well, there you go. Let me come back now. We've checked that out and we'll wrap it up. All right, so we have now finished the next Dr. Dreadful set. Now, I can't say it was a full success, but at least we got to try both experiments. And then uh, I did get some results in experiment number one, but not as good as I was hoping. Experiment number two, the blisters. Now, I've done that one before, and it worked great this time. And I'm wondering, are you looking at my scene and saying, hmm, why did he not center the Dr. Dreadful package? Why? Because I was excited to show you the next set that I'm going to be bringing out. I'm moving out of the Dr. Dreadful, and I'm going to do this Harry Potter Professor Sprout's Fungus Field Trip edible activity set. And I am almost completely through all of the Harry Potters. There's one more set that I haven't done in this candy line, but there's a lot more Dr. Dreadful. So if you're excited to see this one, let me know in the comments. And if you can share this video on social media, give it a thumbs up and watch all those videos in the playlist. It would really help Lucky Penny Shop. And right now, we can use your help. And thanks for watching and all of the support you've given me so far. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.